what's up guys it's covert code here and welcome back to episode 15 of our zero to hero series last video we covered how you can use events for your game and in today's video we're going to be covering instances so let me just open the script back up from last time and delete everything and let me just zoom in a bit here uh just like that should be good enough okay so instances so everything in your game is an instance okay so this part over here is an instance this terrain object is an instance uh, this script is an instance okay every single thing in your game is an instance that literally goes for absolutely everything even images guis and decals stuff like that so um if we open our script okay let me show you the full list of instances on roblox so let's go to our old friend the object browser right here go to view object browser and this is the full list of instances okay so every single thing here most of them at least you can actually create and i'll that's what we're going to be covering this video okay so if you're curious about the entire list of instances you can create on roblox this is the full list just go through this you know you've got the properties we talked about last time the events all of those things so let's open the script and show you guys how to actually use instances and the keyword is capital i instance okay just like that and that is usually followed by dot new okay now this is pretty similar to vector tree dot new or udem 2 dot new if you've ever seen these before i have used this in the series before so essentially you're just telling the script to make a new instance okay so tell the script to make a new instance and obviously do not forget the parentheses and inside of these parentheses you're just going to give it the instance name that you want to create so if we go to our objects browser again and let's say we want to create a part okay just uh, find part it should be uh, right here okay and this is the exact name you have to give it to actually create an instance okay of that type and just like text you just use these two quotation marks and type the name of the instance and if i just copy this um line of code clear out the output and paste inside of the command bar it's going to create a new part however you might have noticed that nothing happened okay this is not the part this was here before okay let me just paste that again and you might have noticed that there is nothing in the game that's because you have to parent the instance okay so there's two ways of doing this you could either store the instance in a variable like this so new instance okay is equal to the variable and again up until now nothing would happen because uh you're not giving it a parent so the way you would do that is new instance dot parent is equal to workspace okay and this essentially would create a new instance and store it inside of this variable and then it will parent that inside of workspace okay and that's where you want the part um obviously you can parent it to whatever you guys want but for the purposes of this tutorial i'm just going to parent that to workspace so enter and th there you guys go that's a new part in your game a new instance and by default things will spawn at something called the origin point so if you get the position of this it's going to be zero 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 okay that's the origin point as you guys can see right there that's unless you specify a position. So if I say new instance dot position is equal to vector three dot new uh, two two two, it's going to spawn at these coordinates instead of the default uh, zero zero zero. Okay. And the second way you'd go about to parenting this is let's just comment out this line of code, and this is how you do it. Okay. So you'd have a comma right behind the name of the instance type, and then you would just give it the the parent right there okay so instance not new i want to create this type of instance inside of this object that's essentially all that means so if we just copy this okay and clear the output paste and enter as you guys can see it spawned at position 222 and it put that inside of workspace now let's say i don't want it to spawn inside of workspace i would just simply modify this and put this uh, workspace dot base plate for example if i want it to spawn inside of this base plate here so let's just uh, remove that and copy the script 
paste in the command bar, clear the output, and enter, okay? As you guys can see, it spawned that inside of the base plate object, okay? So that's how you set parents to instances. Now, again, you can spawn in any type of instance. So if I want to create a script and, you know, just spawn in a script for some reason, you can do that. So clear output, paste, and as you, as you guys can see, um, the script has been spawned in. And obviously, position is not a property of script, so it gave me an error, okay? And the final thing which I want to teach you guys about instances is cloning. So let me just remove this line and remove this comment. So let's say that this part here creates a part inside of the base plate. That's all fine, okay? What if I want to duplicate this, okay? So let's say I give it some nice coloring. So uh, new instance dot uh, color is equal to color tree from RGB. And I'll make this red, okay? So this is the color tree value for red. And imagine you give it a bunch of like properties. So new instance dot anchored is equal to true. New instance dot cancali is equal to false. Uh, okay, so you give it all these fancy properties. And let's just paste that, okay? Uh, inside the command bar, click the output, paste, enter, okay? And you've just spawned in a new part with all those fancy properties. What if you want exact same part to spawn in again? don't have to do this, okay? This will work, obviously. However, it is not efficient. So the way you would do this is you just have a new variable, okay? So let's call this new clone is equal to, and you'd give it the instance you want to copy, okay? So in our case, it's new instance, okay? And we're just going to use the colon, and we're just going to say clone, capital C, and parentheses okay and essentially you're just calling the clone function on the instance that you want to clone okay and obviously well not obviously but like similarly to instance.new nothing will happen unless you parent that okay so new clone dot parent is equal to workspace nothing will happen unless you clone it okay? i mean unless you parent it okay so just make sure to give it a parent unless you have a good reason not to do so so let me just copy Okay, and click the output, paste, and now there is two parts, okay? There's one inside of the base plate, and there is one inside of the workspace. Okay, so if I just move this, um, you guys can see that there are two parts and not one. So yeah, guys, that's essentially all I have on instances. I also t uh, teach you guys about, you know, just a bit of cloning, just so you can get the hang of how instances work and how you can use them, okay? So yeah guys, um, I would really appreciate if you leave a like um, and if possible subscribe, you know, it really helps me out. And if you have any suggestions for me, you know, about what videos you want me to make to educate you guys more, then just leave a comment in the comment section down below and I'll see you guys next time.